My name is Staff Sergeant John Loving. I am the NCO in charge of the Precision Measurement Equipment Lab Quality Assurance Program. And what I do is I'm in charge of evaluating the quality, end of line quality, and over the shoulder quality of all the items that we support here in this lab, which tends to be around 8,500 total. So what we do here in the lab is we calibrate test equipment that is used to verify the different functions and, and aiming systems and flight systems on the jet itself. How that is important is if we say something is measuring something to an accuracy, they're going to use that accuracy to ensure that the jet is doing what it's supposed to do. So if we say something is good, we know the jet's good. That is pretty much the basis of everything we do here. Everything is down to a very precise accuracy. So while we may not be exactly on the jet itself, everything that they're using out there to service that jet is calibrated right here. We're kind of that unsung hero where you don't really know we're here until something bad goes down. So in that respect, the more that they don't know about us, the better we're doing our job. One of the coolest things we do here at PML is we work with a surface plate. This surface plate is extremely smooth, extremely flat. By a naked eye, you can't see any deviation at all. We can map out our surface plate, and by doing that, we magnify our lowest to highest point. So something that is virtually flat, we can now make it look like a mountain range. We deal with something called a micro inch. It is one millionth of an inch, and that allows us to take the most precise measurements that we can. To give you an example of what a micro inch is, you would take an ordinary dime, you would stack it three Empire State Buildings tall, and that would equal one inch. This single dime would equal one micro inch. And that's how precise we are here at Pino. Here at the lab, we have a constant steady flow of equipment. So while there may be down days where we're not flying jets, we're not doing this, the equipment never stops coming in. So if we're not here to service that equipment for a day or a week at a time, things are not going back to the customer. And all of a sudden, those those weekly checks, monthly checks, before flight checks, they can't get accomplished because they don't have certified equipment to do it. The equipment will still work, but there's no guarantee that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing without us verifying that according to the technical orders that, that we use. 